So in this video, we're going to explore how to create the slide layers that will go with this main screen for what you will need in order to learn how to juggle. So in the previous video, we created the dial interaction using the balls. We converted the shape into a dial and we inserted our avatar here and the instructional text, which is in the form of a speech bubble. So now we're going to insert some slide layers. So go up to your insert tab and go over here to slide layer. There's one. Now we need actually four of these because we need a layer for when there's no need selected and then for need one, two, and three. So I just click that four times. And if you go over to the right, the bottom right here, you can see them right here. So let's just rename these. So the first one's going to be no need. The second one will be need one, but you can use some other label, whatever works for you. Okay. So let's go to the layer no need right here. So we're on it. And whenever we're on a slide layer in Storyline 3, it'll show as gray like this. So the main screen is going to be grayed out. So anything you put on top of it will show in color, but this will be the grayed out part is the main, the base layer or the main screen. So we're going to insert text boxes. So let's go back to the storyboard for a second. So we need to then insert a slide layer for each of these with the text. Okay. And the one for the no need when we're not selecting one of these things. All right. So let's first do no need. So what I mean by that is that if we're not on one of these points here, so this would be point one, two, and three, then it should not be showing anything. Okay. So we want this layer to be blank. So we're going to go over here to the right now and create a new trigger. So right here, this button here, create a new trigger. So we're going to show layer no need when variable changes. So our variable is our oval one or our, our circle or our ball, whatever you want to call it. So when oval one changes and what we mean by this is that it can have three main values on this dial one two and three but if it's just sitting here like it is now in the beginning i don't want it to show anything so it's when it is equal to zero or to four so something outside this range that we're going to show this no need screen so we need to add some conditions here so this gets a little bit complicated but it's not too bad for this interaction so we're going to add one for our variable oval one. The operator is going to be when it's equal to zero and then we'll add another one or when it's equal to four. Okay. So that's, that's done for this one and we'll preview that in a second. I just want to do the other ones first. So these ones are a little bit easier to think about because we actually have the values one. This is position one over here, two and three. So go over to create new trigger, show layer, show layer need one. When the variable changes, the variable is oval one or our circle here. So add a condition. So when oval one is equal to one, because that's the first position, the first position on the dial. And then click OK. And there we go. Now let's do need two. So same sort of thing. Show layer 
need to, when the variable changes, and add a condition. So this will be the second position on the dial. So it needs to be when it's equal to a value of two. And then need three, add the trigger, show layer, need three. When the variable changes, add a condition, oval one, when it's equal to a value of three. All right, so now we need to add the text to go with need one, two, and three. So need one, we need a text box. Let's go back to our storyboard. We need a text box that says this. So I'm just gonna copy this. And I'm gonna just paste it in. Actually, I'm gonna make sure I just paste the, uh, I'm gonna make sure I paste just the text right now. There we go. And then I'm just going to make that a different size. And I'm gonna move it over here. So we're on need one, we're on slide layer near need one. And I'm just gonna move that in a bit. Okay, we may need to tweak that once we see how this works, but I'll just, I'll just leave it right about here for now. All right, let's go to need two. So we're on slide layer need two. Let's go to the storyboard and we'll copy that text. And I'm going to paste special, just paste the text. And then I'll move it up and just make that a little shorter. Okay. All right, and then need three, let's make sure we're on the right layer. Go to the storyboard. And it's just one word for this one. There we go. And move that over here. So let's just look at where this one is gonna be there, there, and there. All right, let's go back to the main slide here. I'm going to preview this slide. Okay, so when they move the ball over here, oh, look, additional text appears to tell them they will need juggling balls, bean bags, and any other type of ball or fruit, so they could use oranges as well. And then here, they need stepwise instructions or this mini course, and they need patience. So that's pretty good. Now you can always tweak the placement of some of this if you'd like. But I think for this demo, that's pretty good. If you want, you could move that maybe over a little bit. This, you can make a different size, but I think for what we're doing here, so I'm showing you the basics of how to do this in Storyline and showing the basics of how to use a dial and the trick to use to convert any shape into a dial just by making the shape and then going up to your dial and saying convert to dial. I think that's a really neat feature and um, it allows you to be a little more creative with your dial interactions. So in our next video, we're going to look at the juggling process, which is going to be more of a kind of a tabbed interaction type with clickable buttons.